So in this problem, we are told two plane mirrors meet at a 135 degree angle as shown in the figure. If light rays strike one mirror at 38 degrees as shown, at what angle phi do they leave the second mirror? So uh, we're given this diagram here. And what we're going to be solving for is this angle uh, phi. So this is what we're going to be solving for. And we're also given that the angle of this light ray is going to be 38 degrees relative to the first mirror. And we also know that the two mirrors are going to meet at a 135 uh, degree angle. So we know that this angle right here, I can draw it like this. This is going to be 135 degrees. So this is all the information we're given. Uh, and let's talk about how we're going to solve. So in this problem, we're going to use the law of reflection. And so first, let me explain what that is. So basically, if we have a plane like this, and let's say we have a light ray, which is going to hit it, and then we know it's going to bounce off. So something like this. So what the law of reflection tells us is that this angle right here, we can call it theta, and this angle theta are going to be the exact same value. So theta is equal to theta. Now the reason this is, is uh, we know that if I draw a line like this, so if our light ray is going to hit a surface and then bounce off, uh, if we draw a line that is normal or perpendicular to the surface it's going to hit, uh, it tells us that this angle here and this angle here are the same value. So what we call this angle right here, uh, I'm going to call it, or I'll just say, so this is called the angle of incidence. Okay, so incidence. And this is called the angle of reflection or refraction. Refractions if it enters a new material. Uh, but in this case, we're just talking about reflection. Um, but yeah, so basically the angle between uh, the ray of light and where it, uh, and the normal line to the surface is what we call the angle of incidence. And then uh, the angle between where it bounces off or leaves and the normal line, this angle here is called the angle of reflection. And so if these two angles are equal to each other, uh, we know that just based off the rules of angles, that theta or this angle here and this angle have to be the same too. Since both of these add up to 90, so these must be the same. So that's basically what the law of reflection tells us. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And so how can we use that in this problem to actually solve it? So um, let me go again and draw my normal line here. So let me actually draw it all the way through. So this line is normal to our surface. And as I said before, the angle of incidence, the angle between the normal line and the light beam, which is this one right here, uh, is equal to the angle of ref uh, reflection, which is the angle between where it bounces off and the normal line. So these two values are the exact same. Okay, so we can just call them theta. Now, if that's the case, then we know that this angle right here, which is 38 degrees, is the same as this angle right here. So both of these, this angle right here is 38, and this is 38. Because both of these have to add up uh, plus their, this plus theta, which equals 90. So that means they're both the same. You can just memorize uh, that this is the same as this, but the real idea is that these two angles are the same, which in turn makes these the same. Uh, but it's just important to understand uh, what's actually going on there. So uh, now that we know that this is 38 degrees, it makes solving this problem a lot easier. So I know that this angle right here, we'll call it phi, is the same as this angle based on the raw, uh, law of reflection. Just like these were the same, this uh, light beam bouncing off this, this phi and this phi are the same. And so if I can figure out what this angle uh, is, then I'll be able to actually go ahead and solve this problem. And so if we can find out what phi is uh, right, right here, we know what it is here, since they're going to be the same based on the raw, uh, law of reflection. Now, how can we do that? So what I want you to see here is this right here is going to form a triangle. Let me do it a bit nicer. This is going to form a triangle. We know that triangles, all their angles have to add up to 180. And so we know this side is 35. 
We know this side, or sorry, 38. We know this side is 135. They tell us that. The two mirrors meet at that angle. Meaning, uh, this is our only remaining angle. So, 38 plus 135 plus phi must be equal to 180 degrees. So this means that our phi value is 180 minus 135 minus 38. So just using some basic principles of triangles to solve for this angle, which if you do it, you'll get 7 degrees. So I know that phi here is 70, 7 degrees based off the law of reflection. This, these two are the same. So our answer here for this angle, phi is just seven degrees so uh yeah so this problem isn't that difficult as long as you know what the law of reflection is the main gist of it is that if you have an angle like this and where it bounces off they're the same angle but it's really important to understand because uh, you're going to do later problems like this in the chapter where what we're talking about is this thing called the angle of incidence and the angle of ref uh, the angle of reflection or refraction depending on what you're doing um, but recognize that they're the same and so what these are are the angles between the reflected and refracted ray, uh, or reflected ray, right? This would be your uh, angle of incidence, and this would be your angle of reflection. So just understanding that and how it applies to solving this problem, meaning that this angle is the same as this one, uh, and then just using the uh, laws of triangles to solve for phi. But yeah, this is a really important concept. You're going to be using it uh, throughout this chapter. So just keep in mind, angle of reflection, which is the angle between the beam and the normal line angle of, or sorry, this is the angle of incidence. I, I don't know what I was just saying. This is the angle of incidence. This is the angle of reflection. So where it leaves is a reflection, and this is angle of incidence. Uh, but yeah, so just make sure you get that concept down. And uh, yeah, so your answer to this problem is going to go ahead and be seven degrees. And hopefully you found this video useful.